Hey there guys, it's Psycho Red here with another video, uh, a little tutorial on uh, PlayStation 1 emulators. So basically there's, uh, well actually let me just give you a brief recap of what's going on in my own life. Uh, actually I last week I've been completely just sick and just not feeling well at all and uh, thought I would just, you know, rest and not do any videos for last week. But this week I'm going to be putting out some uh, some videos. been feeling a lot better, but just my voice last week and just how I was feeling, I was just shot. So I, was, I thought better to just say my voice, say my energy, and let's just, you know, move forward to this week. So here we are in this week. Uh, there's just been, ever since last week, there's actually been a lot that's been going on. There's been a new update. There's been uh, new emulators. Um, just a, a whole bunch of new tweaks. Um so we're just gonna I'm gonna be making tons of videos so just uh, definitely if you do guys like to you know like these videos and you like to watch these videos rate uh, give them a thumbs up comment on them uh, definitely subscribe I you know um, this is a brand new channel so hopefully uh, within the next coming years I'll be getting more and more viewers and more subscribers but this is just you're seeing this all from rock bottom a guy who's you know just starting out you know uh, making these YouTube videos, so I'm not going to be making them as frequently and as, you know, with a high-def camera and all that sort of bit with um, with what I got right now, but I will be doing my best, and I, I hope you guys do enjoy them. So let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, basically, what I'll be going over is, it's the uh, PlayStation 1 emulator for the, uh, for your iPhone, uh, your iPad, uh, and then I'm sure it even will work on the iPad Pro that just recently came out today. So um, once that gets jailbroken, that'll be interesting to see how that how that works and what different tweaks come out with the iPad Pro. But uh, definitely, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the uh, the actual link to the uh, City Source down below right here. What you want to do is you want to go into Cydia. and you're gonna want to install it right here. It's BuildBot. Uh, Billbot repo, the Lib Retro City uh, repo, and um, for me, once I uh, once I've actually downloaded it, it hasn't come up with its own label. But once you go into it and you go into games, there's only actually two different. That's all there is in this. So there's only two um, tweaks in here. But you're only going to go and choose the Retro Arcs for ni iOS nine. Don't choose the top one. I've tried that and. For, I guess it just what happens is that once you install it, it will on and you try clicking on it, uh, it will crash. The game just loads up or the emulator loads up and then it crashes on your phone. But make sure you download the iOS 9 version. So this is what your new app is going to be. It's going to be the RetroArch app right here. Go ahead and tap on that. And once you, um, once you open up your app, you're going to want to go ahead and go into it's online update, update all of these. And what you're going to do is once you come up to, I start from the bottom and going up, but once you get up to core updater, you'll notice that there is a bunch of um, emulators that you can run on this. And what I've done is I've actually, for the PlayStation 1 in particular, I've downloaded this PlayStation PCS or PCSX uh uh, rearmed interpreter uh, not the one below it but the one that says interpreter right here go ahead and click on that it will download and then once you will hit back you'll be ready to start adding on games now for most people they uh, have been telling uh, their subscribers and their viewers to to download games off of a computer but I've down but I've been able to find a different way to do that where it's just your phone and you don't have to worry about um, having to SSH or to download different tweaks for that uh, if you want to keep it real simple and what you can do is you go to once you go to Safari you're gonna go to freeroms.com and scroll in here a little bit and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the PlayStation 1 section and I've already downloaded a game but what you do is for example, um, let's see here. There we go. I am a huge fan of, and if you if you watch my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy. So I decided to download Final Fantasy VIII 
for this emulator just to try, just to test it out. You can see where it says open in and then the Final Fantasy VIII disc one and open an I file. Um, what you do is you just tap on the, let's see here, you tap on the game that you want and you wanna go ahead and hit direct download. Now it's not gonna show a download bar, you won't see anything. Um, if you have a custom, um, so, or not custom uh, Safari, but a, a custom browser, if you've downloaded browsers off of um, the App Store that have a download manager, you will see this a download pop up, a download box pop up where you can hit download or open in. Um, but if you're using Safari, you won't see anything. So you'll hit direct download and it will just stay on this page and nothing will happen. What's going on actually behind the scenes is that the actual ROM or the ISO is downloading in the background. So what you have to do is you download it and what's going to happen, you'll see this type of page come up randomly and depending on your Wi-Fi speed it only, only took like a minute or two but you will come up with this page and you'll say open in or you'll click on open an I file once you're in I file and again make sure you have this tweak installed on your phone before doing this <laughs> that's probably a, a good point to you know to put out um, you'll notice the zip file is right here and it'll load and it'll actually put the zip file right under, uh, var mobile and documents. So scroll down, you'll see the zip file, go and tap on it and you're going to hit on archiver. Once you do, it's going to go ahead and take all the contents out of this zip file and you'll see this bin file right here. That's important. That's the actual ISO that you're going to be running. So you'll go back to RetroArch. You're going to hit Load Core. And this is the core that you that you downloaded, the interpreter. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Click on Load Content. You're going to select File from the Documents. You're going to scroll down until you see that bin file right here. And you go ahead and click on it. And there you go. Actually, let me go ahead and put the sound on too. There we go. So. And for pretty fairly new emulator or PlayStation 1 emulator or not fairly new but one that's been out but just been revamped this actually runs very smooth so this will be a game that uh, that I'm gonna go through actually for myself um, but here you can see everything is working just fine too you have different options here to save save states uh, rewind fast forward you can put things in slow-mo if you wanted to Oops there and the game runs perfectly so don't worry about don't worry about having to SSH or to you know use your computer you can clearly use these games or download and get these games to run off of your iPhone without having to use a computer which is really cool this is all things Apple Plus I hope you guys enjoy this video